Hi, this is Dr. James Landy, and I wanted to do a quick video on how to set up data. Sometimes students are a little bit confused by how exactly that gets arranged, so I wanted to just take a minute to do that. Uh, first thing we do once we log into Intellectus is create a project and upload data. And uh, we just name the project, uh, okay, example, just name the project anything and hit continue. Then you can go to enter data. So the rule of thumb is um, that for a particular ID, okay, and we have, you know, person one, and then we can put in, you know, the age, and then, you know, maybe, uh, you know, score one, score two, and so forth. So the rule of thumb is that for each observation or participant, you want to put that person on one single row. So, for example, if you had score one, okay, for so for this person, ID one, and whatever age, okay, uh, you, you don't want to stack this person, you know, ID one here and duplicate their age, you know, and put their score two here or something like that, okay? So, uh, let, let me just, uh, I've, I've set up an example here. So, here... I have, you know, participant uh, ID one. And if they're doing like a pre-post test um, or you had a parent and child, that would all go on one single row. So if they did a pre-test with three questions and a post-test with three questions, again, that all goes on one row. Uh, to add extra, I would just add extra rows. Okay, and then participant two would go here and three and so forth. Okay, so... That's how you want to set up data. Uh, you, you Again, you don't want to stack uh, a participant on top of each other, okay? Like that, you don't want to do that, okay? So one participant on one single row. And that's the basic setup, and that will, um, you know, facilitate you doing, you know, all the analyses that you need to do. And that's uh, quickly how you set up data in Intellectus.